Good morning. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Hello, hello. Look at how pretty this is. I'm not teaching this today, but maybe tonight. I need to come out with a video with it uh, first. But uh, the vertical ombre that uh, are trending right now, I have a better way of doing this. Look at this skeleton. Anyway, but today we're doing electric uh, technique first. I have to come out with a video for the vertical ombre before uh, I go live with it. It should be about around tomorrow or so that I come out with a short tutorial video. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, hello. Give me just a second. Today we're doing electric skeleton. Okay. So two of my electric skeleton going to be here. I, uh, however, need to... Google some uh, inspiration first before we start it. So let me get the other phone. Okay, let's see here. Go on Safari. Okay, electric. Skeleton. If they even have something like that. Oh, they do. Oh, but this is not what I'm uh, looking for. I'm looking for like a neon light. Neon skeleton. Oh, something like this. I'm looking for something like this. So let's see here. Ooh, this is pretty. I like little hot eyes. Take a picture of that. Neon skeleton, yes. Good morning, everyone. Hello, Hawaii. Let me see here. Ooh, that's crown. It's pretty. I don't know if we're going to do that, but we're going to take a snapshot of that anyways. Let me see. Some roses. Roses would be nice, too. That seems to go good with the themes. Some flame. Got to have some flame, too. Okay. Oh my God, look at this one. It's crazy. Okay, so I think I know what to do now. Actually, I'm gonna take a snapshot of these two. This is kind of cute. Ooh, that's cute. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see what we got. So we got these. I'm thinking red and green for sure. Okay, I like that colors glowing. Uh, blue, actually blue and amber. That should be the color. This, this is our color right here. Taking a snapshot of this. All right. So for, let's do some score. I'm gonna do this one, but I'm gonna do blue and amber colors. So I'm gonna get a palette and start drawing out my pattern. For that, I need white polish. This is just a polish, nothing special. Taking out palette. Okay. Put out my white. Hello, Miss Nelsweet. Hi, everyone. Hello. Okay, now I'm gonna paint it this. So I always start with the head, the circle. Let me uh, wash my brush a little bit. Okay, it's kind of stiff right now. Okay. <laughs> Let's 
that's easier. There is the eye socket. And then one line straight down for the nose. Now I'm gonna draw the T. It's just a series of straight line going to about right here. And then up here, I'm doing a little curve. And straight across. All right. Now I'm trying to draw the jawbone going across and down, just like this. This is like a little pattern on the skull, just to show texture on it. Now I'm gonna draw the roses around this. This is like a little leap right here. Let me go on Instagram first. I forgot to go on Instagram so I can read all your comments easier okay now some roses up here Hello Paris, hello, hello, hello Dominican Republic, saludos, uh, saludos Cuba, hello. Como estas, uh, oye. Now another rose down here too. Now the skull and the rose I'm gonna paint in different color though. So it can be eye catching right away.
some rows down here too. Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> Yelena nails. Yelena nails. Oh no, I mean not Yelena nails. Uh, maybe uh, 1253, 131. It's funny what you just said. <laughs> all these people from all this cool play. <laughs> this I'm gonna uh, hear this I'm gonna mix a color so it can go on let's hear this all right let's mix the colors so with that I need stained glass gel hello hello everyone hi all right if you want to take a snapshot of it, you can. But we're doing glow techniques, so uh, your skeleton, it can be however you want it to be. Because it's not really about a design. You're just doing glow. So you can just do a different skeleton if you want. I'm choosing this pattern because I like it. This color, however, I'm going to do it like this. Like blue, like that. I really love that. Blue and let's see. So this background is really, really blue, and then that's why around it. That's easy. Okay, I like this too. The background is purple, okay. This one, the background is actually pinkish, not red, pinkish. But the inside is yellow, that's interesting. Same thing on here. Okay, now let's take this out. We need to mix a color for this. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if there anybody from Michigan uh, here too. Okay, I'm gonna take out blue. Actually, for this, I might, um, I think I'm gonna pigment this. Yeah, I'm gonna pigment this. So I take out matte and using pigment. I plan to use stained glass gel, but I like how it's blend out uh, like this. So I'm gonna use pigment to do that. Cause with stained glass gel, I can only uh, outline it, not, not too much in blending. So I chew pigment this time for glow technique. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five. I only keep that for five seconds. Hello, hello, Manwing. Okay, now I'm gonna take out blue. So, blue pigment. God, look at this. I'm almost using all of it. I'm gonna take out some paper towels. Okay, and pigment brush. This one. Which when, um, when I'm uh, demonstrating the vertical ombre, you do need this bread desperately because this bread they have the side, and vertical ombre you need to use a side so it can make a narrow ombre. Okay, now putting uh, blue right here, uh, probably gonna the video will release tomorrow. Now have some blue. Go ahead and blend it in. Actually, you know what? Usually I do it different though. Give me a second. Let me get stained glass. Actually, I'm gonna take stained glass gel. Okay, 
I need to make this fade too. Hmm, let me see. This needs to be faded. Get some blue out just to see. make some white into the blue just so it show up okay let's see okay that's good too normally when I blend I make um the white a little more faded out from both edge before I blend kind of forgot that been a while since I do the glow technique, but thankfully I know more than one different technique for glow. Almost get in trouble for that one, but thanks God I know more than one technique. So I wouldn't low white over here, so the blue really really pop. And don't afraid to paint it kind of out line just a bit. Next is a uh, pinkish colors. Okay, look blended is good. Now I'm gonna actually paint a little bit of these too, cause where that where there's blue, if I put pink on it, it become like purples. So that should be a nice transition. I only do it on the stem and the leaf. Um, this one I actually using stained glass gel, but you see it's so too see through. So I mix in a little pigment just to make it deeper. And the trick is add in a tiny bit of white polish. With a little bit of white polish, it make the blue, uh, blue visible, or else it's not very visible um, on human eye over black background. Blue actually a semi difficult color to do electric on. That's why I choose blue. A bit up here too. Actually, in here too. Why not? Okay, I'm gonna clear this. Now I'm gonna mix a pink. So for this, I'm taking out shade number four, stained glass. It's a brighter pink than uh, the other pink. The other pink number six is a little darker, a little more purplish. This is number four. Gonna add in just a tad of white, I mean a touch. Just a touch. Just so it's visible on the black. Adding some pink over here. See how, how it's glow? Now, uh, after this, I'm going to put on a white line right in the middle. So it's glow even more. And you will want a little bit out of line too over the black, so it's even more glowier. Okay, 
Glow technique is incredibly uh, trending right now. Since the day that I come out with glow technique, uh, a lot of people have uh, adopted this technique. You see it everywhere too. Okay, actually I'm gonna take a little ombre brush and kind of fade this out just a little bit more. Just like that. Okay, cure this. Now I wanna mix a light blue and a light coral for the inside. So I need the engraver. I need two white. One white over here, another white over here. This I mix with blue, this I mix with um, coral actually. Coral number five. That's a deeper coral. Take it out. Mix it in with the white. Actually, I'm gonna mix a little bright yellow in here too, cause. Okay, good. I'm gonna add white in here just because I add more stained glass gel, so I wanna add white just to return its opacity. Okay. Ready to paint. So I'm gonna put on a coat of matte just to level everything out before I paint on. Take some matte and apply on this and cure this full cure, 45 seconds. Thank you, it's me, Jay, thank you. I uh, doesn't take in the shower. Hi, Tiff Nails, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to use this and this. And I'm going to use a 10 millimeters for this, for drawing, 10 millimeters. Let's start painting. So I'm gonna use blue first, light blue. Go in here. See that? You don't want the white to be too much, just a touch in the middles. See that? See how it glow? Touch of white. Just like that. See that? Now the eyes. Remember, very light touch. When you touch very light, you can go really fast. Now, uh, I painted some leaf. Yeah, 
yeah, this gloss technique is very popular. Since the day I do it, I see glow everywhere. Everyone start doing it. I love it. Down here too. So stained glass gel, I mix in just a tad bit of white, not much, just a tad bit. That will help you a lot. Now, yellow, I'm, I'm painting right in the middle of the rose. And the reason why you yellow, because I see this and I want to achieve kind of like uh, this look right here. I want that. I want that look. Now I just start to dabble with in more stained glass gel. Because stained glass gel is not just to you by itself sometimes too. Sometimes uh, you can incorporate stained glass with pigment if you want it to be more pigmented but not opaque, still see-through, just more pigmented. So you add in pigment. Um, also, you can add in ink with stained glass. i show you that later on with another technique. When you add ink on stained glass, there's many things that you can add in stained glass. This one, you add a little white gel polish on stained glass, and it will show too over black background. Usually, a, uh, a jelly polish, you're not going to see it glow, um, go on black because it doesn't show through on black. But by adding just a little bit of white polish, now you can put your um, stained glass gel on black background to create beautiful glow art. Mm. Let me finish this one and you can stop. You can stop uh, on the second layers. The first layer is a blending layers uh, where you put all the color in the second layer. You can put a lighter color on top and then uh, you can stop right here, or you can add some more. You can add some little white right in the middle of the second colors. That will make it even brighter. Of course, we're going to do that too, just so you can see. All right, here it is. Look at that. I like that. I do think it's need more white. Here it is. Thank you, thank you. Um, yes, I'm gonna pin my website down here so you can see my website. www.tinovo.shop, pinned. All right, I already pinned my website. All right, now I'm gonna use a little white. I still have a little white polish right here. I'm gonna use it. Let's take it out. Okay, now this one, if you choose to do this, you don't have to do this, but if you choose to do it, be uh, careful. Just a touch. Not much, just a touch. If you do it a lot, it'll look unnatural. You just barely touch it. Just like that. Okay, 
That's it for the inside. Oh, a little bit right here. Okay, that's it. That's it. Now, uh, the flowers. That will make it bright, really bright. And I'm thinking that it's gonna be shine, could glow look better on shine than on matte. So after this, I'm gonna put a shine coat on. I should put matte on so it's easy for me to paint. Here it is. Thank you, everyone. This right here, I'm thinking of black tips. But first, let's do the other nails. So this one, let's put a uh, shine it on. Here it is. Actually, no more. Okay, I'm gonna cure this. Now this one, I'm gonna paint some uh, other skeleton too. Hello, hello, Sassafras. What is score? Oh, it's have a heart on it. That's why I want some score that have a heart on it too. Mm hmm. That first design um, is very hard on short uh, short nails. On short nail, you probably just want to score and uh, one flower, not too much. Like on short nail, you probably just want this. It's just a score with a flower. But on long nail, you can add more flowers. Okay, now this one over here, I'm going to paint it. Score also. And yes, it is a Day of the Dead set for October's. Just a circle. I'm gonna paint it a uh, heart inside for the eyes. One heart, another one over this. 
leave the metal, uh, leave space for the metal for the nose. Okay, now I'm gonna do the nose. And then the mouth. Okay, these are teeth. Then I'm gonna draw the jaw. So I'm gonna add two little bone underneath it. Uh, yeah, you can do it regular gel polish too. Um, however, uh, I would not use gel polish. I use top coat mixed with pigment. Because there's too many extra uh, ingredients in a in typical polish that you don't need. Just you uh, pigment and top coats, and then uh, mix it with a little white, just so it can be visible. I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Check out these colors. I decided to add just a little pink in here. Actually, uh, purple. A little purple and blue. Add a little blue stained glass out, add a little purple in, a little white in. More blue pigment. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and color this in. Okay, now. I'm gonna go ahead and put the blue in. Remember, I put a little white in it. So when you apply over black, you can see it. If you don't see a blue over uh, black, that means uh, it's too see-through. So you just need a tiny bit of white. Remember, a tiny bit, not much. See, with this technique, you can draw anything with this. You can make anything glow. I 
And remember, um, with this, you don't have to use mat. You only need mat when you put, uh, when you want to use pigment. Remember the homework. Planned to do pigment this morning, but uh, I like this just as much. However, if you want to do pigment, you have to use white and make this line kind of fade out. Because pigment don't show through under uh, black very well. Don't forget your homework. Every step is important. Every step needs to be understood. A lot of people, you know, they do art, but they don't understand all the step. They just, they just do it just because they've been told to. So remember, every step has to be understood. Put blue on this too. Everything's blue except for the eyes. The eye have to be pink. At first, I'm gonna cure this, and then I'm gonna do the eyes with this pink. I'm actually gonna add a little more pink pigment into this too. I want it just a tad lighters. Uh, I mean, uh, brighters. Just a little bit of pink pigment into this stained glass gel. Mm. Yes. I'm gonna fade that out. Cure this. And then put a layer of matte on. Cause we're about to draw some white line over it. So we need matte. So we have an abstraction. Plus, uh, another coat up top coat will make everything level, so it's easier for us to draw. I'm gonna use these two same colors. Mm, however, I do think I need yellow pigment into this, make it brighter. Hold up mat. However, these are rules to protect you. Um, like these are the rules just to make it easier for you to paint the white line on. However, if you work for so many years and you're confident in your line work and you know you're not gonna mess it up, you totally can skip that matte top coat. You totally can paint right on it, but it's gonna be bumpy and they're gonna be slippery. But that step is not like a must, must. However, I have to teach you the rule first, and then you can choose to break it if you want. If you can achieve the same result, you can definitely break that rule. I'm gonna paint it white as outline. Actually, I'm gonna do the eye first. Oh, I 
I love this yellow more. Oh my god, that's so bright. I almost wanted to do the other one. Damn it. This one is so bright. That's why I get for doing everything once. If I do this design like a hundred times, I will get it down, but this is my first time doing it. Pretty much everything you see will be my first time doing it. Rely on uh, technique I already know, but design, I just don't want to do the same design every time. Oh, look at that uh, nose. Ooh. Yeah, and he just go buy and some cigarette. You have to have cigarette in the morning. I used to couldn't function without Starbucks. But since the day that I realized Starbucks is not really coffee, it's just whole milk, I get it less now. And you know, people that love Starbucks not really into coffee, they just into whole milk. one yeah it is doesn't uh, you to get an uh, offer for a Starbucks um, building but this is a long time ago so it's like ten thousand dollar he didn't take the offer because he didn't he didn't expect coffee to become that popular but I tell him I say honey that's not coffee you ever order a cup of Starbucks that's definitely not coffee. It's just an excuse for people that want to be unhealthy. Instead of saying every morning, hey, I'm going to Dairy Queen. Instead of saying that, we can say, I'm going to Starbucks. And it can make you sound so like fancy. Like, it's, I do not feel guilty about go getting Starbucks at all because I, I feel so hip and healthy, but not really. But yeah, I just. You know, it, it's an excuse. That's why it's so popular because now people have an excuse to say, I'm going to get Starbucks. Every single morning, I go get Starbucks. I just chew like a latte or frappuccino. I don't really care. At long, I have um, hazelnut syrup, uh, milk, uh, um, what else? Sugar, honey, uh, cinnamon sprinkles, foam, whipped cream, extra whipped cream, um, some uh, croissant or whatever. Uh, maybe two, and then um, late, uh, and then that's pretty much what I order every morning. But you see, I feel so good ordering it because you know it's Starbucks. It's healthy, right? <laughs> okay, let me see. I have some white, and I really like this. This is brighter than this. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna add some white too, just because I add some white to the other one. Technically, this doesn't need any more white. This look already pretty, but whatever. Make it even brighter. Just a little bit, not much. Yeah, I need to go Starbucks today too. 
I need to bring a laptop with me so I can pretend to type while I drink my uh, coffee. this and then we're gonna put a uh, top coat on this and then I'm gonna uh, add uh, the tip for each of these I'm gonna add a black tip so I'm getting my texture effect gel just to make some V-lines so it can be easier. The reason I use black metal effect instead of polish so my line can be more defined before I put on uh, polish. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to put black on. So I'm going to take in a black polish and just paint it on. Make sure you paint over the side. So it's cleaner on the side. Clear this. Gonna add a top coat on for this. And these look good match. Gosh. Darn it. So indecisive today. This set need a lot of blink. Here it is. Actually, I'm going to tear this a little more. black polish thank you Mickey Bocock no it doesn't go buy cigarette the baby just I think they are asleep right now thanks God this every pattern dream is for the baby to become uh, sleepy and to go to sleep so don't hear all the yapping <laughs> Ok, 
hear this. This too, some black tip too. Uh, I'm working on a glow technique. Sorry that I'm going a little fast today, but seeing you guys can rewatch it. Then you can watch it how many how many ever time you want over and over. So there's no need for me to go slower than usual. Still give you a little time to absorb though. But uh, I think this is more convenience. Okay, here this. So all of them are tips now. Put it on here like this. That's why there's no glare. Okay, now I'm gonna paint flames. Okay, all over the black, and I'm thinking green. Cause we have blue and coral. I'm thinking green, blue, bluish green. It was complement this very nice. So I'm gonna take a 10 millimeters, my favorite. I'm always went back to the 10 millimeters. Uh, now, uh, if you not familiar with the fire uh, motorcycle flame, uh, here your chance to see it. Let me wipe this a little bit. I'm gonna break it down step by step for you. So by looking at it, it'll be very simple to do. First, you need, um, A line all the way down. Then you need some. Oh, I go a little too fast. Sorry. Okay, so you make um, a sway on one side, and then another short little sway on the other side. And you blend in the corners. It's more than in these corners and fill it. Making one line out. No blooming gel yet. Th that's not the glow technique. I know there's so many different techniques you couldn't keep up with. Pray yourself that there'll be more technique. Have to know as much technique as possible in this day and age. Things are moving fast now. 
You have to know everything. Because our industry is growing. So you have to travel as fast as it's go or else you'll be left behind and you don't want that. You have to learn as much as possible. And memorize it too. Remember the easiest way to learn is to know the reason behind each step. Don't just blindly memorize that technique and um, the step, you have to understand why we're doing a certain step. Clear this. Up, the baby is awake again. Now they start playing with each other. Probably be about an hour before they wear out. Have so much energy. The puppy is up, breaking out of here into the nails room. Ginger! Where are you going? Okay, now the flame is going to be green. I'm working our plan here, green and blue. I kind of just dive into this set. I didn't really plan it out. Kill this. Hi. All right, time to colors. Time to colors. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still not sold yet, but giving it I'm giving it a chance. I'm waiting for it to to make me fall in love with it. I'm not in love with it yet. Still look like an accident for me. I need to be falling in love with it. Oh I have this design right here. This one I hate. This one is my least favorite. Let me show you. Oh I get rid of it. I didn't even give it a chance. I 
cut rid of it. Okay, so I, I need green. This is my green stained glass. This is number two. And I definitely need more pigment in this because it's too see-through. Too see-through is work when I want, I work with glitter or flake that I want it to show through. I don't want to put pigment on because that interfere with the brilliance of the flake and glitters. But for design, however, especially glow technique, I do want to mix more pigment in because I want it to show through the black. However, I don't use polish because I still want it to show through just a little more opaque than it, when it usually is. See that? Now it's green green. Now, um, I need a blue blue. So blue right here. And I need more blue. Uh, let's skip the white palette this time because this blue gonna be on the on the nude. So I don't think that it's gonna have any problem showing through. We will see. So I'll see about this. First time that I do this this style, usually glow I do it either on black or on nude. This is first time when I do like a like a nude and black, but we will see. So, I'm having some blue. Ooh, that's pretty deep. Ooh, that's too deep. Way too deep. Mm-mm. Okay. So, I'm just gonna use the stained glass. Number seven, without any pigment. That's way too deep. Okay. This is just the number seven without pigment. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. All right. See that on the on the nude, it does show through. It just on the black, it doesn't show through. Cause it's not strong enough to fight with the black. Okay. Now I'm gonna use a clean ombre brush, and I'm just gonna dust it out lightly. Just dust it out. And I shall do the same to every nail. Yes, yeah. I could have done just an outline too. Mm hmm. That'd be pretty too. We still can do it. We still can do an outline when we do the the uh, white inside. We can do two lines instead of one. Here it is. That's a good idea. I like it. I like that idea a lot. Mickey Bow Cup. I know that this glow technique, the moment you know it, you can do whatever you want. It becomes so fun. Cause you don't have to get things down to the, uh, fine detail. Cause it's glow, glow technique. It's very forgiving. As long as you get the layer down. This layer is very important for it to blend out. You see the blend? It's very important, remember. Don't just put on the white. You have to put on outside of white too. Okay, now green. Green, however, I I put pigment on and green is uh, pretty strong by itself, so it should show to the black. See how it show to the black? That's what I want. You know what? Maybe a little yellow down too. Yeah. Yeah, 
Oh, that little yellow too. Yeah, yellow too, or just blue and green, you think? Should I add bright yellow underneath? Yeah, that's why I thought. Okay, I'm gonna add yellow in. So I'm gonna blend this out. This is so funny, isn't it, you guys? I just love doing this. But you have to get all the layer down. Remember, don't learn like a parrot. You have to know what what's it mean. Why why do I add pigment into the stained glass? You have to know that. You don't just follow the step. Because if you follow the step, you're not gonna know the amount. You put pigment on stained glass just for it to be uh, show through the black right here. So now you can gauge it. As long as it's show through the black, you can stop adding pigment. If it, not enough. It doesn't show through the black, then you add a little more pigment. So you have to know the reason. If you don't know the reason, then you just blindly adding pigment in. And that's when disaster happened. Disaster happened when people do exactly as they instructed to, but they don't know why. When you don't know what, like cooking, <laughs> you have a, a bottle the recipe from another person, right? You do all the steps that they do, but the food turn out like shit. Crappy. Why? Because of the amount of ingredients, the proportion. Too much salt, not enough sugar, not enough vinegars. You know, you can have all the right ingredients. You just have to know why. Why you put salt? You put salt to open the flavors. You put sugar to uh, make it milder, calmer, more uh, sweet. You add a little spice for a little kick. You have to know why you add certain things and you don't just blindly add it. Butter for savory is also is a good bait to start with. I'm very, I'm a very good cook, by the way. I used to study gourmet just the uh, first years, but I, uh, I'm actually a very, very good cook. I know all those um, formulas for uh, seasoning. <laughs> I did not uh, know, um, have a good knowledge on tools. Tools. Mm -hmm. Knife and all that. <laughs> but I'm very good with seasoning. My favorite dish. Um, I I like uh, beef Wellington. I make that before, so that's my favorite. Um, and then I like uh, oh sorry, um, I like the profitero with sugar netting. This is a dessert that I learned too. However, I haven't made it in a long time. So I want to make it again this year. Really? Hmm? Steak, like steak tartars. But I like the Korean version of steak tartar. Yes, but my favorite is waking up at noon. Waking up late at noon with greasy Chinese food. Ah! That's my favorite. Says, well, then where is the Chinese food? I came home just for this. Sorry, the cat missed a party. Mm -hmm. Party is last night. It's miss it. Our oh, one cat. there's a little, little scrape right here. I might well fix it right now. Before I add in the yellow. Okay, cure this. Okay, hey, here come the yellow. I'm not gonna use this because this is too opaque. This is a one inside the yellow. The yellow it need number one for sure. Number one is a bright yellow. It's so bright that it's almost uh have like a greenish look to it. But uh, for that, you can adjust it either. You can make it yellow or you can make it lamb green, however you like. If you want to make it lamb green, you add green pigment in. You add yellow pigment in, become yellow. Just enough pigment so it shows through the black background. But yellow is slightly weak. Uh, so, okay, let's see. 
the black color is the strongest color, so you have to um aware of what color couldn't pierce through black. Blue is the weakest. Cannot pierce through the black color. The black color is uh an over um uh powered. Pink, strongest color. Pink will show through a, a lot of things, even black. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. But now I think it's need to look something, something right. Oh, crystal! I can, I, I can ask crystal, color crystal to uh, cure this. I hope you like the video I posted this morning about the golden dragon. It looks so good too. Kia this. Where are you from, you know? I'm from Springfield, Missouri. Oh my god. Wow, well, you was born in. It's really glowy under the Vietnam. light too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm from Vietnam. I've been here about um twenty years. Do you send these to a client for press on? No, nope. I keep every piece so I can take it out and look at it. Like trophy, you know, like a nail serial killer. They always have a like trophy. I keep trophy. Now I hope that I have more yellow. It's okay. I can always um, fix it. So far, I like this. I love this flame a lot. Let's... Um, Okay, so these here is what's going on. I I need to make a metals right, a, a light the part like inside. However, I have three color going on. So how I do that? Um, I'm thinking for three color, I want to use pigment. So what I need to do use white polish to tray the inside and then add on pigment on it. However, I need to make all of these pigment free before I time to do that so I take out shine it and I shall boot shine it on everything so it can be pigment free here it is What, what what he did? No, not what he did, what he heard. Oh, God. <clears throat> he heard, and they were feeding cat caviar uh, yesterday. I mean, we no. not say that. We what do you mean, no? I'm not going to lie to that cat. We, we just let Lucy have a few touch. Honey, that's feeding a cat caviar. I don't care. A touch? He just licked up the acid caviar from my mouth. Oh, is that what Right. You hear that, bro? So it's not feeding him. He just Her take it. Bro, said, I would like to lick excess caviar off your mouth. Bully is a bump. I'm not going to let Bully do that. Bum? He's a bum. Oh he's a God, bum he's cat. The pack. Mm -mm. He's, he goes out and protects I'm not let, I'm not letting that mouth touch my mouth. Oh, mm -mm. my goodness. Just I don't know where it's been. Wow. Probably out there getting cat STD to all the whore well, cats. Well, he cut his nuts off, so I mean, he's, you know, pretty... That doesn't prevent him from whoring around the neighborhood. Okay, you know, you might be a small amount correct on that, but you could have, you know, maybe put a small piece of caviar on a plate. Mm -mm. Honey, we wouldn't even have those two Hellcats, Bonnie and Clyde, if it wasn't for this one's firm. I am going to do this, okay. Cause it's, good. it's getting to me. I'm going to do it. Burley? I'm going to take yellow, and I'm going to just do it. Burley, we're in the cat house. It's just like a dog house, but <clears throat> no caviar. I just do it or else it's gonna be on my mind for the whole days about the colors. I'm I'm not happy with these colors. Now the yellow make me a little happier. <clears throat> it's look good in the picture, these colors. 
look good on the pictures, but on the nails, I need more color than that. I just, let me see. I look better now. You realize you got five cats and four foot of you. I do. I do. Okay. okay. Seen in it. I seen them on the corner and, and of my house. I also notice that they're not knocking shit over. Mm hmm. And then we have two small puppy dogs who can't seem to get away with knocking everything over. Oh, help her, kitty. Yellow here. You are an amazing little kitty. Okay, it's making me feel better. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I just I don't think you and that kitty. I feel are. better. Okay, okay, okay. I can settle with that. Okay, now, top coat, this top, top coat on already. I'm gonna kill these two. <laughs> All right, now, since these are the pigment free, I'm gonna add white polish on this. Take a white polish. Now, Everything else should not be uh, able to adhere pigment, only the white polish at this point is uh, pigment friendly. How do I get my nails done by you is the question. Um, time travel? Yes. Go I back to the past? I don't do nail anymore. I used to. So, time machine. That'll get it. And a cute kitten. Time machine and a cute kitten. Care this. Still saving your lives, you know? Uh, yes. You want to be a mommy's lap cat? Because you're really looking good. Yeah. The lot have been doing pretty good. My algorithm have been, been going down. Actually, doing really good. So I, I'm very happy about it. Feel safe. Is that Bonnie or Clyde? This one? Uh -huh. Bonnie. Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't noticed the female for some reason. That's the bond with you. Hey! You know what? That might even look good with just white. I don't need to add color in there. Oh, do I? Let's see. Have you always known how to draw? 
Um, yes, I always know how to draw. Or did you learn? No, nope. I don't learn. That's why I can teach now because the ones that learn are very difficult to teach. Mm. If you learn it from someone, it's very difficult for you to pass a skill on to another person. But I'm self-taught, so now it's so easy for me to teach. Cause I I I know um the person pattern. Get this. If we let you out here, you're gonna be good dogs. Okay, let's let let's see some pigment. I don't think we need a lot. Uh, let's see a little blue. A little blue out. Add a little white into the blue. Mix white and blue pigment together. And now let's see. Just just a tad bit, not much. Yeah, like that. That's it. Now some green. Mix green and white together. Green pigment and white pigment. Now just dust it on here. Um, have to wear act gel to monomer to make a uh, color acrylic. They do sell the liquid. Um. Uh, I remember a long time ago they sell liquid that you can turn monomer into colors. Um, what else? You can add a little pigment into liquid too. Um, usually what I do is I use stained glass gel. Therefore, I don't need to mix any of those uh, stuff. I can just use clear acrylic just like I normally do. And then after I'm done with the clear acrylic, I just use stained glass gel to turn anything into colors. That was thank you. Glass gel is for much easier than to mix a, a liquid. You just do what you normally do, and then you take stained glass gel and transform it into a sheer colors. Now you know uh, the importance of stained glass gel. That's another thing that stained glass gels can do. Just like when I teach a vertical ombre, it's gonna be way easier. I don't work with gel for vertical ombre. Gel get on my nerve. I mean, if you work with vertical ombre with gel, how can you do that? You know, how can you make a skeleton like this? Okay, uh, green. This lighter green too, and then lighter yellow. Basket weave. I can. It's make me giggle a little bit. Okay, just a light touch on the yellow, not much. Okay. Now, time to put low uh, highlights into the rows that I already uh, fixed earlier. And I'm going to take a little white and enhance it. Further enhance it. Yeah, you think so? Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Consider that I didn't plan this through. It did not look too, uh, uh, not so bad. I had a little white in here. Okay, 
Now, after I get this done, I need crystal. I need, especially this two finger, I need color crystal. I need green, yellow crystal on this. I'm gonna cure this. Clean the tables. I'm gonna add top coat. Good job, cat. Terrorize them puppy. Smack them bitches. Smack them. Kill them. Yeah, let it in. Let it in. Let it in so it can get them. Go get them, cat. Get them annoying puppy. Kill them. Kill. Kill. I'm gonna uh, add no no wipe top coat on here. This is shun it top coat. Also is a blooming gel too. This top coat right here. Hmm. On here I'm thinking black diamond. Either that or A B Aurora Boilis. Thank you. Thank you, Cherry Nail Lounge. After the live, um, I try to make a vertical ombre video. So I can show you the easier technique for vertical ombre. Oh yes, I use Cindy Crystal and I use Dream Time Crystal. Um, Dream Time Crystal is a very good crystal. If you use, still have some leftover Shrosky from a long time ago, you can take Dream Time Crystal and put it side by side with the Shrosky Crystal and compare it. Never see a slight difference. Soak it nest on. Take some AB and just drop it nest on and see. Cut non authentic crystal, it melts right away in nest on. Take some uh, back up, like uh, a couple of the AB and just take a cup of nest on and just drop it in. Leave it for an hour. Cure this. Go ahead and bedazzle crystal too. Let me 
me see. Let me see. Let me put it on my fingers so I can see how pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty. Oh, my hand. It make, it make my hand pretty. Okay. Put this back. I'm going to put it back and bedazzle it later. Hope you guys have a good day today. Mm hmm. Child must always be care, remember. Always care your child. So, this is what we did today. I hope you guys enjoy it today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Later on, I will post one with diamond on it. This morning, I posted. I'm happy. It started out a little iffy with these. But the more I do it, the, the more we, uh, it's evolved. The look evolved and uh, the final look, I'm, I'm very happy and satisfied with it. Did not disappoint me. This set did not disappoint me. It's very, turned out great. I love it. So, uh, tonight I'll do another live. Um, I'm going to try to make a video, vertical ombre video now. So, uh, tonight I can teach you guys vertical ombre too. So, I hope you guys enjoy uh, the live today. Let me see. Let me see if you guys have any questions. I don't put it on anyone natural now. It, uh, what did you don't put it on anyone natural now? Oh, you're welcome, loving uh, 313. You're more than welcome. Let me see. Any question? Uh, hi. Hi, Jerry Now Loud. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, the section today. It's a, a glow art. I haven't do glow art in a while, and I never save glow art. So I'm happy that I save glow art today. That's just one technique of glow art, though. That, uh, that's another technique of glow art that I will show later on. Uh, tonight, it's going to start at 6 a.m. Oh, look, doesn't all depend to wall white. See it? It's all white now. Um, anyway, it starts um, at 6 central time. Do you set the set that you make? I don't. I don't because I don't repeat it. I hate repeating uh, that set. So I would like to keep it because if I sell it, then I have to repeat it. And plus, um, if I keep it and the people choose that uh, that piece and I have to redo it. So I don't like either way. I don't like to repeat. So that's why I keep in every piece. Can you use gel pen to do ombre? You can, uh, but it's going to be too thick can be a little too thick for gel pen. You still can, you just have to dab, dab it very lightly. Yes, I do. Uh, I do save the life. Um, have a good day, Tiffany. Have a good day. 1 a.m. in France, yes, but no worry, La, uh, La Touche, Grandma, because uh, tomorrow morning when you wake up, you